What pump RPM do you need for an electric heat pump on a swimming pool? Well, first of all, you need to recognize that uh, an RPM setting for a given pool pump will result in a different flow rate on every single swimming pool installation. Every pool is unique. So you can't really measure by that. What you need to measure by is flow rate. You should have a flow meter installed in order to get the maximum benefit from your variable speed pool pump. Uh, and if you have one, what you should do is you should use that to find out what the maximum and minimum flow rate of your pump is. It very likely is going to be somewhere in the, let's say 40 to 100 gallons per minute range. It's kind of like maybe an average range. The, the high end potential is definitely much more than that, 120, 150 GPM. And perhaps you have a, you know, very small above ground swimming pool and you might have a lot less, you know, 30 gallons per minute, something like that. For an electric heat pump, you're going to average about 45 gallons per minute being the optimal flow rate. Now, again, we're, we're, we haven't identified what kind of pool, how big is this heat pump, but as an average number, 45 gallons per minute is going to be an optimal flow rate for heating the water. So just kind of going through your minimum and maximum range, something like a Hayward heat pump is going to be 30 to 70, 30 gallons per minute minimum flow rate, 70 maximum. I believe the uh, Jandy, the Jandy JE, the J Jandy JE heat pumps are 20 gallons per minute minimum to 70 gallons per minute maximum. Uh, Pentair Ultra Temp are 30 gallons per minute minimum to 120 gallons per minute maximum. And AquaCal heat pumps, I believe, are 30 gallons per minute minimum to 70 gallons per minute maximum. So what do you do if you have, you know, a pump that's producing 120 gallons per minute, but your heat pump can only handle 70 gallons per minute maximum? Well, you would either reduce the RPM of your pump to meet the either the optimal or stay within the maximum gallons per minute flow rate, or more commonly, you would install a bypass for your heat pump such that not all of the water is going to go to the heat pump. Some of it will bypass the heat pump, thereby you could regulate your flow rate. That would be more common in a system that has a single speed pool pump. Traditionally speaking, that's what swimming pools have had, single speed pool pumps. If you had one of those, very likely it was exceeding 70 gallons per minute on your system. And so you would have to install a, a bypass so that you weren't forcing too much water through. Nowadays, more commonly, you just reduce the RPM of your variable speed pool pump to stay within the parameters of your heat pump. And it's worth mentioning, you should always look up the specifications for your exact brand make and model of heat pump. This is this video is just to give you a general guideline that a lot of common heat pump manufacturers state around 45 gallons per minimum or 45 gallons per min minute is the optimal flow rate for the heat pump. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.